Hey guys, um, this is a book list of any Edgar Allan Poe fans or people who are looking for creepy paranormal horror mystery books. Here is a list of books I have for you. And I found this list through Tumblr. Um, so the first one is The Mask of the Red Death by Bethany Griffin, a steampunk retelling of The Mask of the Red Death. The Fall by Bethany Griffin also, a new novel that reimagines the fall of the House of the Usher. Number three is Ashes on the Waves by Mary Lindsay, a paranormal gothic novel based on the poem Annabelle Lee. Number five is Nevermore by Kelly Craig, a paranormal romance that reimagines the fates pose characters in a modern day high school setting. That one sounds pretty cool. Far, Far Away by Tom McNeil. This story of a boy who hears voices of ghosts is a little bit spooky and a little bit funny. That also sounds pretty cool. Number seven, Catch Up Clouds by Annabelle Pitcher. A girl has a dark secret she can only confess to a man on death row, so she writes him letters. Now that one sounds very interesting and right up my alley, so I'm going to have to purchase that one. Criminal by Tara Ellen McVoy, a troubled girl who will do anything for love, realizes her actions have consequences. Number nine, All the Truth That's in the... Oh, All the Truth That's in Me by Julie Berry. After being missing for two years, a girl returns to her puritanical village and struggles to reveal the sinister truth in this mystery about finding your voice. Number ten, How to Lead a Life of Crime by Kirsten Miller. Students at this high school for criminal struggle for power as they discover their true selves. Number 11, Servants of the Storm by Delilah S. Dawson. A girl's best friend dies in a hurricane that sweeps through her t their town, or does she? A psychological thriller sure to keep to creep readers out. That one is another one I'm gonna have to get. Number 12, Of Metal and Wishes by Sarah Fine. This retelling of the Phantom of the Opera with ghosts and slaughterhouses is a tense atmospheric read. Yep. When they said the Phantom of the Opera, that's... I'm all over that. Number 13, Creed by Trisha Lever and Lindsay Curry. When these teens are caught in a storm after their cars break down, they seek shelter in a nearby town and get more than they bargained for in another creepy mystery. Number 14, Mary. The Summoning by Hilary Monaghan. Horror fans will delight in this creepy read. Anyone who was scared by the Bloody Mary legend should read should read with the lights on. Now I have three of the books that are mentioned. And the first one is this, of Monsters and Madness. The next one I have is, as I just read, Mary the Summoning. And the last one, which I will show after, it's um, 15, Sweet Unrest by Lisa Maxwell. This murder mystery about dark dreams fit a New Orleans setting and a hint of romance. Amity by Nicole Ostow. This horror novel inspired by the legend of a famous haunted house, which is the other one that I have right here. Number 17, Fiendish by Brenda Yovanoff. Creepy hexes complement Yovanov's trademark atmospheric purpose. 18. The Cure for Dreaming by Cat Winners. A hypnotist opens a headstrong girl's eyes to the world in historical novel. 19. Beware the Wild by Natalie Parker. When the swamp at the edge of town swallows her brother, a girl fights to save him. The vivid setting will entice readers looking for a different kind of paranormal with a hint of romance and a lot of mystery. 20. Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve. I cannot say the last name. This novel blends contemporary romance and traditional gothic horror in a seaside setting. Now, that is a list that all of them sound very creepy, very spooky, and very interesting. So, check those out, and I will leave them all in the down bar below. Thanks.